Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we will be looking at EIP called Claim Check and we will try to understand from a real life example where you can use this EIP. Okay, and how can we implement this EIP using Apache Camel framework? Let me ask you first question. How can we reduce the data volume of message sent across the system without sacrificing information content? So you know two things. Yeah, we have something called content enricher. Content enricher tells us how we can deal with situations where our message is missing required data items. So as name suggests, enricher can enrich the missing data fields. For example, Let's say if client sends us some information and if the data which is coming from client is missing some some important fields, you can try to maybe, you know, either fail the message or you can try to put some information using some sort of ref data. Second thing we can do is like, you know, we have something called a content filter. Content filter lets us remove uninteresting data from a message. Okay. Sometime, however, we want to remove fields only temporarily. What it means is, let's say a message is coming, but a message is so large. It's, it's like, you know, uh, it contains some attachments, some uh, other like, you know, big, big uh, data. The problem with this is that if I carry on this, this large object when I'm processing on my, my route or within my, my methods, you know, it can degrade my performance, system performance, because, you know, I'm carrying the large object passing on from one uh, method to another method. Sometimes, yes, it's, it's a reference, but still, you know, you're carrying the large object and then again, you're, you know, trying to process that large message. Okay, let's say you have a high transactional application, the cost can be, you know, really huge. This is where comes this, this nice design pattern called claim check, where you can temporarily remove the, the main data or keep the subset of the data and then just carry on processing with the subset of the, the message. And later on, when you're ready, you can either aggregate or you can claim the old message back. Let me actually show you one real life example, what I'm trying to say over here. Let's say you are going on holiday. Okay. You have big luggage with you. Okay. You're going on a long holiday. For example, you reach to the airport and then suddenly you found out that a flight is delayed or maybe canceled. Okay. Let's say the flight will be coming after a few hours. Now you have two options. Option number one, go back home. Okay. Um, the second option is you put your, your large luggage somewhere, then go for a city tour, come back and claim your luggage. Okay. You may have already done that. So what you can do in that case is you can go to a, you know, a airport. Okay. And they provide this type of service where you can submit your luggage for a few hours or maybe one day. Okay. And what this co luggage company will do, they will hold on to your luggage they will give you some sort of receipt, okay, which is a claim check. So you can come back later, say, look, I hold this token or ticket or claim check or whatever you want to call it. Can you please return my luggage back to me? The thing which I said earlier, aggregation, which means you get the original um, luggage back. Let's say while you were doing the city tour, you bought some souvenirs, right? So you bought some, some nice stuff. Now you can you, you have the original luggage and you can put kind of, you know, the new items into your luggage because, because that's, that's everything belongs to you. So this is what this, this EIP, um, lets us do. Yeah. You, you temporarily hold this data somewhere later on, claim it back. And you can like, you know, maybe filter the data. You can, you can, you know, you can enrich the data, uh, with, with other fields, you can aggregate data however you want. Okay. So, this is, um, you know, how this, this, um, enterprise, enterprise, uh, EIP or enterprise, uh, integration pattern works. Sometimes words, you know, they just, just slip from my mind. All right. So as you can see from, uh, this, this particular diagram, we have a message right over here, check luggage. Okay. So you basically went to the airport or the message has come to your, your, your application. What you can do is you can 
park this message in some sort of data store. This data store can be external data store or you can maybe hold it in memory. It could be anywhere. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Okay. And then you, what you get is you get some sort of ID or message claimer. You you carry on processing the the on the on the route okay or you carry on processing your subset of the message or 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 a new message altogether and later on you can claim back that message and then you can kind of you know enrich with or or filter it or whatever you want to do and then here you go your data is out all right so hope this this makes sense now let's do one thing let's go back to our code okay intellij and let's take a look how we can implement okay or how we can implement this this design pattern using apache camel all right so i'm taking you to intellij there we have our intellij what i have done over here is i am just trying to demonstrate that i am sending uh, maybe some sort of payload okay i have a json payload as you can see over here and this payload contains maybe you know some basic fields such as name city but same time it has a very large data set as well okay let's say i have a large attachment okay and as you can see on on this line number 33 34 binary large data blah 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 okay this is just for demonstration purpose but just just assume this field really contains such a large volume of of attachment okay video or, or maybe some some sort of image okay or or anything else in that matter so if I write a normal root in Apache Camel, for example, like this, so message will come here. Okay, I will send the message to direct start. And then what will happen is as we have multiple processing steps, like you no know, step one, step two, step three, step four, what, what will happen is the message will be carried, you know, from one, one step to another to step two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So if I run the program, you will you will see what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to run uh, the program, which will be sending a message to this particular route. And what you can see over here, I'm printing, you know, the step one. Step one is printing this thing. Then I'm printing step two, step three. So all the steps carrying the same data, large, large set of data. What I can do is using the claim check EIP pattern in Apache Camel, I can say, please park this message or hold this message message somewhere else temporarily. And let me carry on with some, you know, maybe subset of, of the message. Okay, let me carry on with that, do whatever processing I have to do. And at the end, I will claim it back. And then I'll decide what to do. All right, so it sounds good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply inject uh, a few things like you no know, claim check over here so i have written a program really quickly over here there we go so as you can see on the screen i'm going to undo this undo this undo all these things because i wrote this thing um, a few minutes ago just just to save us time i i i commented it but now we are ready to play this okay so how you implement claim check you say two whatever root you are sending message to then you can say claim check claim check operation there are a bunch of operations Sh shall we just take a look at those operations first okay so you have get gets um uh, it, it, it does not remove the message it's basically what you're doing is you are trying to get or claim the message using some sort of key but before you know getting message what you have to do is you have to do set so it basically sets a new claim check with the given key. It will override if key already exists. So you can basically setting a tag saying, hold this message somewhere. And this is the ID I'm going to associate this message for. So later on, I can come back and I can say, look, please give me this message. And this is the, the ticket number. Make sense. Then we have something called gets and get and remove. It basically as name suggests gets and removes the claim check by the given key. So once you have got the message, that particular tag or identifier will be removed from uh, from, you know, wherever it's it's holding all these tickets. Yeah, if it makes sense, then you have a push. It sets a new claim check on the stack. OK, it, it does not use a key. What it means is it, it will just write or override the body. 
pop, it gets the latest claim check from the stack. Okay, it doesn't uh, use the, the key again. All right, that sounds good. Let's go back to our IntelliJ. So what we were saying, what I'm doing over here is I'm using a claim check operation called set. Let me just do a static import. Okay, just wanted to show you guys first. So really quickly, what I'm doing is I have, I have got the original message. I am now doing, please set this um, uh, claim. I'm, I'm calling it claim tag original, which is coming from our, our customer. After that, I'm saying override the body and read the subset, i.e. just the name from the, the original message, which is coming. So I can carry on with this lightweight payload or, or the subset of the message and, and to like you no know, rest of the processing. So what will happen now is at this point, I have overwritten the body, okay, which is coming uh, set in the, the exchange. And then I have, you know, another um, route, which is basically, let's say mock step two over here. And again, I have option to kind of tagging this thing again now. So what I'll be doing is now I'll be tagging the subset of the message even. So I have option to subset this thing. So I said claim tag step two over here. Third thing which I wanted to show you is like, you know, get and remove. So I have got claim uh, tag step two, and then I'm, I'll be printing over here. After that, I'll be overriding the body again, which will be saying this message should be there in body even after claim two. Why it will be there? Because I have used operation called get and remove. As I said earlier, it will get the message, but it will remove the key. So later on, if somebody you know, writes the, um, write something else in the body, you will, you wouldn't be able to claim that, that luggage back. Okay. Once you have claimed the luggage, you, you can't do it. Okay. Because it has been removed from the store, for example. Um, after that, we will we'll try to, so at, when we reach to at line number 37, you know, it will, this message will be printed. Okay. Not, not the one, you know, the subset over here. And then towards the end, we will claim our original Mac, uh, original message back and I will be printing over here. Really nice and simple example. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly run it and we will try to inspect the, the output and it is failing and it's failing because it's saying line number 43 has to escape using backslash to be included. Uh, okay. What have I done over here? Let's just try to, to, to understand the message. It's saying illegal unquoted character has to be escaped using backslash so it's not happy with the 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 message which we are sending so what i can do is i have to undo this because it's not happy with the the broken line because it's not escaped or something like that all right so if i run the example now hopefully it should work it has worked. Okay. Now let's set quickly go over our uh, output earlier. What you notice, like, you no, know, all these steps had the same data, but now at this point, what will happen? So my step one is printing the original data. As you can see our step two, what we did in step two, we took the subset of the message. We wrote it back to our body. As you can see, step two, step three, again, we try to claim it back that's printed step four was doing the same thing now what i did i overread overwritten the the this message should be there in body even after claim two okay so i wrote this message back in the body and i tried to claim it back the original JSON, um the the subset of it but it's saying okay i don't have a key so what it will do it will retain whatever i have written in the body and towards the end what we did we we went back to the store we said can I please claim back my original message? And here is the ticket. So I gave the token or, or the claim check uh, token and it gave me the original message back and it has written back to our exchange. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you today, um, how we can use claim check EIP in Apache Camel uh, to basically, you know, hold a message temporarily somewhere in the store carry on with the, the, the subset of the message or brand new message. And later on you claim it back and you, you continue with, with your process. Um, I hope you like the video. If you like the video and if you manage to tolerate me until this point, please, uh, try to subscribe. Give me thumbs up if you can. 
okay and please leave a comment at the bottom okay um, that will be really really nice thank you thanks for your time and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye for now